interesting to share with you it's probably you're probably familiar with it already but for me it's interesting because I have decided to go on a keto diet now I definitely will be doing my normal recipes as usual but I'm anxious to share this with you as well as some other keto recipes I'll be sharing as well so with the keto diet I'm trying out recipes and stuff and I came across a very interesting recipe it's a Chinese fry rice and we are not using any rice, actual rice, but we are rice and cauliflower. If you are a rice lover, I think you would be interested in this menu because you, you really like your rice and you're struggling and, and you're wondering what can I use, what can I make? Try this cauliflower fry rice recipe. It's Chinese style, so it has the same great flavor as your Chinese food. We should be using some cauliflower which we rice to put in the processor and using some turkey sausage, some onions, garlic, some peas and I'm taking you on my journey and I hope you enjoyed this keto fried rice recipe to make this fried rice I'll be using a few cloves of garlic here I've chopped up some turkey sausage you could use bacon or any other sausage you like this is what actually gives the rice its flavor some onions some green peas this is our cauliflower rice I've passed it through the processor you can use it frozen or you could buy the fresh cauliflower it doesn't matter I'm using two eggs some black pepper salt some sesame oil and extra virgin olive oil so I'm first starting by drying my rice, so extracting the moisture from the cauliflower. So just to take all the extra moisture. Bear with me, I'm not too sure what happened at this point, but my audio track apparently came out of the camera. So here you see me adding two eggs. I'm whisking two eggs together. I'll be adding some salt and some black pepper to this this is totally optional if you wish you could omit this step where we add the salt and the black pepper but I did it for additional flavor now I'm gonna fry my eggs to my wok I already have some extra virgin olive oil where I'm adding my eggs which we'll cook for about 20 to 30 seconds or just until it, it pulls together you want to take this out of the wok and set aside to turn the wok to the fire add some olive oil when our oil is heated to this we'll be adding our garlic and onion Allow our garlic and onion to saute to extract the flavors, followed by our green peas. After sorting my onion, garlic, and peas, I'm adding my turkey sausage. You can add whatever sausage you choose. It can be beef, pork, whatever you wish. You could add at this point. You can even use bacon. Now I add my cauliflower rice and my eggs. Making sure to mix all those ingredients together. I'm adding some sesame oil followed by a tip more salt I 
and some all-purpose seasoning salt. You just want to turn this up and make sure it's cooked. It's nice hot, it's steaming. And that's it. So here I'm about to taste. This actually tastes better than it looks and trust me, it does look amazing. So I really hope you get a chance to try this recipe. Now, if you're on a keto diet, you definitely will appreciate this recipe. If you're not on a keto diet, it tastes just as good. I have some friends who are not on a keto diet, they have tasted the rice and they are so in love with this rice. So let me know what you think of this recipe. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for joining me once again on another episode of Lynn's Caribbean Kitchen. See you next week. Bye.